Alcohol is one of the oldest and most widely used drugs in the world. With a global worth of over a trillion dollars, alcohol remains extremely popular to this day. 86% of people 18 and over have reported having a alcoholic drink. It's important we go over specific facts so we keep ourselves safe and happy. So in today's video, we are going to discuss what one standard drink is. Alcohol, which is sometimes referred to by its chemical name, ethanol is a CNS or central nervous system depressant. And this slows down the nerves in our body. And this is how we feel the effects of intoxication. It is difficult to define how many drinks makes one person intoxicated because everyone gets affected by alcohol a little bit differently based on a few different factors. So what we do do is measure intoxication by BAC or blood alcohol concentration. What we do know is as your blood alcohol concentration continues to rise, it does have different physical and psychological factors that go along with it. And that's why we need to know what one standard drink is so when we go out and have some drinks, we can keep some sort of track of how many we've had so we don't suffer any negative consequences. There are tons of different varieties of alcoholic beverages out there, so on today's video, we're just gonna focus on some of the most popular. The mathematical definition of one standard drink is 0.6 ounces of alcohol. That's what makes up one standard drink. So depending on how much alcohol is in your specific drink, that's gonna dictate what one standard drink is. Alcohol by volume or ABV is a standard measure of how much alcohol is contained in any given volume of alcoholic beverage. This also tells us how strong any alcoholic beverage is. The higher the percentage, the stronger the drink is. This can vary widely and for this video we'll be calling ABV alcohol percentage. Beer is the most popular alcoholic beverage in the entire world, and one standard drink or one serving of beer is 12 ounces at 5% ABV. If you don't know how big 12 ounces is, not to worry, most cans and bottles of beer are 12 ounces in size. There are many different types and strengths of beer all throughout the world, so make sure you're checking that alcohol percentage so you know how strong that beer you're drinking is. Wine is derived from grapes, and grapes happen to be the most planted fruit in the entire world. And one standard drink or one serving of wine at 12% alcohol percentage is five ounces. Wine also comes in different types and strengths, so you might wanna check out that alcohol percentage before you start drinking. And white wine has the same serving size as a red wine. Liquor spirits or hard alcohol comes in at a 1.5 ounce serving size, and that is at a 40% alcohol percentage. Liquor can be derived from many different things and also come in many different strengths, so make sure you're checking that alcohol percentage located on the bottle before you have any hard alcohol. Another way to measure the strength of liquor is by looking at the proof on the bottle. The higher the proof, the higher the alcohol percentage in that particular alcohol. Spiked or hard seltzers are quickly becoming one of the most popular drinks in the entire world. And one standard drink for a seltzer is 12 ounces with a typical alcohol percentage of 5%. Before we end the video, let's get in some quick tips. This is my friend Aaron and he's here to demonstrate one tip. Restaurants usually serve you more than one standard drink at a bar or restaurant. As we compare these beer sizes, we see his served beer is way bigger than one serving size. They can also put more than one serving of hard alcohol in mixed drinks as well. At house parties, be careful of any jungle juice or party punch because as we can see in this example, this drink is probably more like 15 or 20 drinks. And our final tip is do not under any circumstances chug an entire bottle of whiskey like our friend here. He's about to consume a whopping 34 drinks in a matter of seconds. Having a lot of drinks in a very short period of time is called binge drinking and can raise your blood alcohol concentration to dangerously high levels. This condition is called alcohol poisoning and can kick in anywhere from a blood alcohol concentration to 1.6 to 3.0 BAC, depending on the person. Your blood alcohol concentration can continue to rise up to 40 minutes after your last drink. So it's a really good reason why we should keep track of how many drinks that we've had. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned a couple of good tips. 
Remember to drink responsibly. And if you're under 21, you shouldn't be drinking at all. Stay happy, stay healthy, and we'll see you next time.